Well, hello there, Peter. This is the lab, viewed its second law, constant force. The people in our group are obviously Melissa Frankenberry, Elizabeth Lachey, Mae Doherty, and Lily Rodaka, and of course, Carrie Maloney. The objective of this lab is using Newton's second law. What happens when an object acceleration if the force applied to the object is increased, but the object's mass remains constant? Who knows? And now the materials for this lab are the motion sensor, the balance, dynamics card, mass and hanger set, the string of force, a super pulley with clamp, and a 1.2 meter track system. Procedure. Hello, Mr. Lamb Lamb. First, for our lab, we measured the mass in kilograms of our hanging object. Next, we plugged in the wires to the computer of the motion sensor and went to the software science workshop. Next, we measured the mass of our cart in kilograms. Then, we attached a pulley and string to our hanging object and dynamics cart, which we placed at the end of our dynamics track. Next, we let our hang mass pull our cart for three trials and record our data through the computer. Lastly, we used, we used the data to complete calculations and get our conclusion. Observations! This is our mass. It weighs 36.7 grams. We are going to do trial one now. We attach this to the ready pulley. Start. Set. Go. All right. Excellent. Now we're going to do trial two. Pulley, would you put that back for us? Ready? Trial starts to go. Set. Go. <laughs> we'll just redo that one. Okay, we are going to reattach to do trial two. <laughs> Let me put it on. Are you ready? 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 Set? Go. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do trial three. Ready? Set? Go. Go. Melissa! <laughs> so, obviously, I can't do it. Go! <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ready? We lost oh, our face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it still going? <laughs> Just keep filming. <laughs> we had to reattach our weight. Technical Hi. difficulties. As you can see, there's some errors that might happen during the testing. Good so job. you have to be ready. <laughs> Uh, and analysis. Yes. Okay, now we're reattempting right, trial three. <laughs> ready? Set. Go. go. Didn't go off. Oh, yeah. We had a mistake in our program. We had to redo that. Again. Sorry. Like, which can be data on there? You need to get three months. Like, picture of that. If you're watching this right now, you don't know we're filming you. Helping us out a little. The last two are about 50. What are these exactly for? Basically, the slope should be the same. So let's take a look. If I take that data, and I do fit linear, and I do this data, and I do fit linear, do they look the same? Kinda. Kinda? Yeah. Kinda or yes? Yes. Six point point six nine and point seven zero. Is that good? All right. Ready? All right. Are you ready for trial three? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's close. I mean, they're, they're supposed to be the same. You got point six nine and point seven zero. Liz, are you ready for trial three? Ready? Me, we're doing trial oh, three. Trial three. Ready? Please do it. Liz, 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 Ready? Trial three. Ready? Ready? Shane! Shane, shut up. And that will conclude our trial. Calculations. Okay, for calculations, we have to find out the calculated acceleration. Acceleration equals m hanging times g over m object plus m hanging. Our, the mass of our m hanging was 36.7 grams. g equals 9.81, and the mass of our object was 550 g. That was our cart. 
So A equals 36.7 times 9.81 over 586.7 J. This totals 0 0.614 meters per second squared. <laughs> so that is our calculated acceleration. Now from that, we have to find out the percent difference between the accelerations. And percent difference equals measured acceleration minus theoretical acceleration over theoretical ex acceleration times 100%. The measured acceleration was found on our graphs on the project, <laughs> on the computer, and then our theoretical was what I just said, the calculated. Um, so for trial one, the percent difference was 12.38%, trial two was 11.73%, and trial three was 14.82%. You can find these in our data table. Cut. I'm done. Conclusion. From doing this lab, we learned that the accelerations stay about the same when the mass is the same. However, we only had to do three trials with one mass. If we had done ten trials like all the other groups, we would have learned that as mass increases... Just keep going. So as, as mass... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so from other groups, we observed that as mass increases, so does acceleration. Very nice.